Ladies and gentlemen, the Kante Bayrad. we have been seeing in Don Tobin. Now is he out at midfield? He jogs over to the bench. It'll be Pisano and Kondrich on defense. And it will be Don Tobin at midfield along with Steve Maurer at one forward. Kia has been playing the other forward spot on that line. Tonight it will be Art Kramer starting in place of Kia at that forward position. For Fort Wayne, midfield is Mark Lugris, Bob Porcinitis, and Ken Killingsworth of forwards. Killingsworth, the former invader. Tom Alioto, the player coach, and Tom Muller up, the former Chicago Shocker player, will start on defense for Fort Wayne. Flames, the visiting team, they control the kickoff. It's Killingsworth, right side at midfield. Backs it up at the red line to Tom Alioto. Alioto being hounded by Art Kramer, and he drops it back in the goal area to Otto Orff. Orff comes out with it, sends it to midfield. Killingsworth pushes it over on the left side, and backing away from Steve Maurer, is Muller up, feeds on the right side to Lugris, and now they try to get it ahead to Killingsworth. Kenny back to the net against Condrich, and they send it back at midfield. Alioto, Killingsworth, ball blocked by Condrich, trying to get it ahead to Kramer, and it was deflected. Porcinitis sends it in on goal. Swanner controls. Outlet right side at midfield to Steve Maurer. Maurer coming back in his own end to Tom Condrich. Condrich. Clears left side at midfield for Don Tobin. Tobin working against Lugris, and he backs it up again to Condrich. And they clear it forward for Maurer. Maurer in the right side, back to the net in the corner. Now Pisano on the right point in the Fort Wayne defensive end. Oscar around one, around two, wall pass, no. Rebound cleared out by Alioto. Put back in by Maurer. Pisano can't clear, and coming the other way is Porcinitis. Through the midfield circle, Fort Wayne on the attack, four on, th or rather three on three. Porcinitis pass behind Lugris. He fires a shot wide and high to the left side. Porcinitis out after the rebound in the corner, trying to get inside Pisano. Spin move, ball knocked away from behind by Maurer. 
And in a foot race with it, Tobin comes off with it for the Invaders. Ahead to Art Kramer, right side at midfield. Maurer clears in front of Artie down in the corner. Maurer looking for the wall feed, and it's knocked away. And coming the other way on the attack, the Fort Wayne Flames. This is Bill Stallings, pushes it up on the left side. And the centering pass is just wide, intended for Alan Bodenstein, coming up on the right side. He couldn't quite get it. There's a shot by Dan O'Keefe. And Swanner goes down and catches that one with both hands. Right side in the invader end is Kondrich. Now back in front of the arc to Oscar Pisano. Pisano sends it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Randy and Rudy, the brother combo, play in the forward spots. And there's the first foul of the game. Push off on Noonan. That's the first foul on either team tonight. And the invaders will put it in play from just inside the Fort Wayne red line. Magic Celestin will be the trigger man for Canton. Mike Paxos and Walt Schlothauer are on defense for the Invaders. And they dump it in the corner. Mike pa uh, Rudy back out to Mike Paxos in the right point. And Paxos takes it out to midfield and shovels it in on the left side of the red line to Randy Pikasinski. Randy trying to get through a double team. Ball knocked away by the, uh, Bodenstein and taken by O'Keefe. And now Bodenstein at the edge of the midfield circle for Fort Wayne. Pass knocked up in the air by Rudy and Bodenstein. Able to head it in off the head of Schlotthauer. Headed and knocked out by Pisano. Ahead to Magic. Pushes it up the right side for Randy. Randy Pikasinski into the Fort Wayne end. Tripped from behind. And that's going to be two minutes coming up on Chicago. Going off will be either Stallings or Armuth. I think it'll be Bill Stallings that will get the two-minute trip call. And the Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 2.37 of the first period on the year Canton is 11 of 26 on power plays, 42%. The Fort Wayne penalty killers, not too bad, 78%, 7 out of 32. Now, they did give the penalty to Arma. Two-minute tripping call, and the Invaders will have the man advantage. Don Tobin, Rudy Pikasinski, Walt Schlothauer, Kia, and Pisano, the power play unit. There's a shot wide by Schlotthauer. It comes back out of the right point to Oscar Pisano. Uh, now at the middle of the floor at the red line to Tobin. Right side, Oscar. Back in the middle of the floor to Don Tobin. Minute 48 in the penalty. Oscar on the point. Touches it into Kia. Back out front to Pisano. And now left side it comes to Toby. Toby, red line. Couple of steps in. Working on Bodenstein. Oscar winds and fires and that one's up in the cheap seats out of play. Goal kick for Fort Wayne with 11.59 to play in the first period. And a minute 36 left in the penalty. Fort Wayne penalty killers are Mike Noonan, Ed Fiskerich, Alan Bodenstein, and Dean Durst. Here's Don Tobin with the ball for Canton. Now back in midfield, it comes to Pisano. And Tobin, Tobin, red line, looks right, feeds right, Pisano, right back to Tobin on the one-touch pass. Toby, back to Oscar, minute 17 left in the man advantage. And back to Tobin. And in the left corner it comes to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer, Tobin, Pisano on the right side, a minute five left in the penalty. And in the corner, Kia tried to get it through the box and it was picked off by the keeper, Orp. And long lead up the floor comes for Bodenstein. And Bodenstein had it knocked away by Kia and taken back. Schlothauer taps it ahead to Pisano. Pisano dumps it in the right corner for Kia. Got Rudy wide open, but Kia couldn't get the pass away. It was knocked out of there by Alioto. And a steal by Schlothauer and a sliding play out front to knock it away from him. And that was Bob Forsenitis. Oscar Pisano, right side, red line, couple of steps in, down in the corner. Key is wall pass, knocked away. Shot by Schlotthauer, hit the un underside of the crossbar and came back out. 22 seconds left in the penalty. And Pisano touches it outside to Don Tobin. They'll set it up again, 16 seconds. Right side, Oscar, he fires, knocked into the corner. Schlotthauer with a follow scores! play goal for Schlotthauer came with 11 seconds left in the man advantage. The time of the goal will be 426 of the first period. Schlotthauer gets his seventh goal of the season and the invaders lead one to nothing. 
And Pisano will pick up his seventh assist of the season. And the Invaders lead one to nothing on the power play goal. Schlotthauer from Pisano. Here is Fort Wayne coming back with it. Lugris midfield drops it back in the Fort Wayne defensive end to Alioto on the right side to Muller. Up now on the left side to Alioto. Alioto under the watchful eye of Randy Pikasinski back in the goal area to Orf. Orf out that left side, Alioto midfield to Lugris. Ball tapped away by Celestin. Here come the Invaders. Trying to get it ahead to Rudy. The pass was a little long. And they leave it back there for Alioto. And Fort Wayne will try to come out with it again. Ten minutes to play in the first quarter. The Invaders lead 1-0. And Muller up tried to clear and sent that one into the seats. And the Invaders will put it in play left side at midfield. Schlonhauer from Pisano. Power play goal at 4.26 of the first period. It came after the two-minute tripping call on Lenny Armand. Jamie Swanner with the ball in the Invader penalty area. And Swanner will come out to the red line, across the red line. Out to midfield, launches it into the left corner for Randy. Randy has it his feet in the uh, Fort Wayne defensive end, out on the point to Celestin and back at the Canton red line to Schlotthauer. Walter trying to get away from Porcinitis and dumps it back in the goal area for Swanner again. And Jamie will come out with the ball on the floor. Swanner across the red line, stops. They put no pressure on Swanner yet. Long lead, headed up in the air by Lugris and caught on the fly at the other end by the Fort Wayne goalkeeper. Otto Orff, long pass midfield, knocked away by Paxos. Taps it over on the left side at the Canton red line to Magic Celestin. Ahead to Pikasinski, Rudy working against Muller up. Back to Magic, back to Rudy on the give and go. He wants the wall pass, knocked away. And Noonan able to dump it in the goal area and controlled there by Orff, out on the right side to Mike Noonan. Noonan across the red line, midfield comes to Lenny Armuth. Armuth clears it down for Killingsworth. Killingsworth back to the net right side, out front. O'Keefe winds, fires, blocked by Schlotthauer. And the rebound knocked away, and O'Keefe got it back. He's got a shot, he shoots just wide to the left side. Armuth out after the rebound on the point. Drops it inside. And Killingsworth comes back out front with it to Bodenstein. And the ball knocked away. Rudy couldn't quite control the steal, though, as Armuth clears it back out to midfield. And with the ball for Chicago now is uh, Stallings. Had it knocked away by Celestin. Noonan has it at midfield. Noonan midfield circle. Now just to the left of the circle to Bodenstein. Picked up by Randy. Bodenstein knocked it out of play. The Invaders will control. Eight minutes, ten seconds to play in the first quarter. Canton one, Fort Wayne nothing. Power play goal. Schlotthauer from Pisano. Tomo Kondrich will put the ball in play for Canton as they've uh, changed lines during this timeout. And he drops it back to Jamie Swanner in the box. Swanner will pick it up this time. Long outlet, and it comes to Steve Maurer off the left sideboards. Maurer clears it back out front to Don Tobin, and Maurer in the corner. Maurer comes back out front, sliding play by Bodenstein to knock it away, and some shockers come on the attack. O'Keefe and Stallings, they kind of got in each other's way. Now O'Keefe has it back. Shot, kick, save, and a beauty by Swanner. Knocked down in the corner. Bodenstein on the right side. And midfield ball picked away by Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Noonan. Noonan able to clear the ball free. And Artie is going to get whistled for holding on the play. And the team fouls will be even at one apiece in the first period. 7.38 to play. Canton one and Fort Wayne nothing. I'm half tempted to call them Chicago. Their uniforms look a lot like Chicago's. Orff comes out to midfield with it for the Flames. Long into the corner, he wants Noonan. It takes a funny hop off the boards and rolls over the back of Noonan and Kramer into the goal area. Swanner, long lead. Kramer on the run up the left side. It's he and Noonan, a foot race again. Noonan into the corner, looking for a feed. Knocked it right to Maurer. Maurer out front. Kramer scores! Mauer and Kramer made him pay for it. And the Invaders lead two to nothing. Art Kramer will get the goal. That's his sixth of the year. And Steve Mauer will pick up his second assist of the season. Time of the goal, 7.52. And the Invaders score up two to nothing. Kramer from Mauer. They got a bad pass as Newton was trying to get the ball away from Kramer in the corner. And he knocked it right to Steve Mauer. Maurer just waited for Kramer to clear out front, and Artie 
and a wide open shot. Uh, Orff really didn't have much of a chance with Art Kramer wide open on him from that close range. Fort Wayne trying to clear in the Canton end, but Celestin shovels it out to Mike Paxos. Paxos wants Rudy Pikasinski. He's got him at the Fort Wayne red line. Back to Paxos. Mike now to Randy in the left corner. Randy looking for a feed, turns out front. Right side feed to Paxos. Paxos in the corner, shot no. Wall pass came out behind both Pikasinski brothers. And Basil tried to clear it. It ended up all the way in the invader end, and Swanner has it in the goal area. Outlet short on the left side to Walt Schlothauer. Schlothauer ahead midfield for Randy Pikasinski and back to Schlothauer. And ahead to Rudy, he's pushed off by Muller up, and that's the second foul on Fort Wayne. 6.19 to play in the first period. Invaders two, Fort Wayne nothing. And Canton looks like a much, much crisper, much healthier team for one thing. Pisano, or rather that's Paxos, let it fly from the right point. It was too high and out of play. And a goal kick comes up for the Fort Wayne Flames. 6.17 to play in period one. Canton two, Fort Wayne nothing. Invaders in action tomorrow night from Toledo. Long lead, Fort Wayne coming up the left side of the floor. And they chase it down in the corner. And I believe that is Chris Klassen, who they had taken off the roster, but I don't see anybody else with a 15 on his shirt, so that must, must be Chris Klassen. 6.09 to play in the period. Our contest quarter tonight is the next, next one coming up. Our second quarter will be our United Bank contest quarter tonight, so if you have a postcard sent in, uh, stick around for the next period. Bodenstein looking for a centering pass, and he dumped it out to Lugris, who fired it high off the glass. Rebound comes outside on the point to Paskarich. Down in the corner. And you're going to get Mike Paxos for holding as he had a hold of uh, Forsonitis, and the team fouls are even at two apiece with 5.58 to play in the period. Fort Wayne will kick it in. It'll be uh, Bodenstein from the right corner out to Lugris, and he knocked it in the stage, and the Invaders will have a goal kick. Two to nothing. The Invaders lead on goals by Schlothauer and Kramer here in the first uh, period. Schlothauer's goal was a power play goal came off of the only penalty that's been called in the game so far. Jamie Swanner coming out of the goal box with it for Canton. Swanner out across the red line. Close to midfield. Dumps it into the right corner for Randy Pikasinski. Tried to clear. Knocked loose out front. Mike Paxos to Rudy. Knocked off the boards. Taken back by Schlothauer. Inside to Magic. Magic double teamed into the right corner. And the ball knocked away. Magic got it back again. And he's hauled down, and that'll be the third foul on Fort Wayne. As Magic got dragged down by uh, Bodenstein. Paxos to put it in play. His pass is blocked. Mike gets it back and dumps it out edge of the midfield circle. Schlothauer, his pass knocked away by Killingsworth, but Swanner was waiting in front of the goal area. And Jamie back out across the red line for the Invaders. 5-14 to play in the period. Canton 2, Fort Wayne nothing. Lead ball in the Fort Wayne end left corner. Is Rudy Pikasinski, ball deflected, taken by Killingsworth. And Killingsworth had the ball knocked away by Schlothauer. Rudy got it back to Tobin. Now it's Rudy into the right side. Back to the net against Bodenstein. Back out front to Walt Schlothauer. Pisano off the bench as they work on the line change. Randy Pikasinski, right side at midfield. 4.47 to play. First quarter, Rudy, red line, back to Schlothauer. Round one, around two, and a sliding play to knock it loose by Puskarich, or Walter might have let that one go. There's a heel pass, nice one, and a shot and a good play by Swanner to cut the net down on the shot by Porcinitis and a nifty pass off the heel of Ken Killingsworth. That would have been a pretty play. Alioto in the corner, Killingsworth. Pisano got there first, ball knocked away. Killingsworth got it back. Wall pass, no, and Kramer steers the give and go back out in the corner. Tobin's got it there. Clears it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy... Pass off the boards a little too hard for Tobin, but Kramer is there to flag it down for Canton at midfield. Hardy will take it back in the Canton end and let things uh, air themselves out a little bit. Ahead to Condrich. Condrich up the right side. Shot deflected. Maurer out after the rebound. Once the feed, tried to get it to Tobin. It was deflected. And two guys fall and ended up with it at midfield as Stallings. 
Stallings takes it down the left side of the Canton end. Kondrich with him stride for stride. Stallings looking for a feed underneath, and it was picked away by Swanner. And Jamie grabs it and holds on. Outlet short left side to Kramer. One touch over to Pisano. Now Don Tobin, 3.36 to play. In the first quarter, Canton 2 to nothing. You're with WHBC FM 94, Canton, Ohio. Tomorrow night we're on the AM station from Toledo. It's a 7.25 airtime and a 7.35 kickoff from the Toledo Sports Arena. Jamie Swanner out across the Invader red line. Launches it long in the left corner in the Fort Wayne end for Maurer. Maurer trying to get inside. Does he shoots? Hit the post on the right side. And Fort Wayne clears it the length of the floor. Swanner sends it right back to Pisano at midfield. Oscar gets it in the air as Stallings clears by. And here comes Pisano. Pisano wants the feed. Had the ball deflected away. And Maurer took a man down from behind. And that'll be the third foul on Canton. And the team fouls now at three apiece in the first period. We have 2.54 to play in the quarter. And a couple of guys are down and slow getting up. Pisano is hobbling. And Steve Morris comes over. And Oscar trots to the bench. And Lenny Armuth is a little bit slow getting up. And he limps over to the Chicago bench. Dean Dewurst, an acquisition from the Milwaukee Wave. Via, I'm not sure where all. Dean played for Milwaukee last year. Was not on their roster this season. And he is now out there for Fort Wayne. He could get an education because he's matched up with Don Tobin right now. Alioto not happy at all with something. He wanted to feed downfield and didn't get it. They had to clear it back to the keeper. Now Stallings at the Canton Red Line left side. Back to Alioto at midfield. Alioto trying to get around Maurer does. Picked up by Tobin. And the ball knocked away out front on the play by Mike Paxos. And they clear it out for... Condridge clears for Don Tobin, and the ball knocked away by O'Keefe. Fort Wayne on the attack. O'Keefe up the right side. Picked up by Tobin. Clears it out on the point to Alioto. And Condridge with a sliding play to knock it away. Kramer's loose at midfield. Drops it back to Maurer. Maurer up the right side. Had the ball knocked away. Maurer gets it back. 209 into the left boards for Don Tobin. And Tobin clears out front. Now on the right point to Mike Paxos. Paxos. In the corner for Maurer. Maurer and Muller up fight for it there. And now a double team as Stallings gets in the play for Fort Wayne. Ball squirts loose into the goal area off the boards and controlled on the bounce by Otto Orff. Long lead for O'Keefe. O'Keefe and Condridge stride for stride. Condridge steps in in front of him and able to tap the ball around the boards into the waiting arms of Jamie Swanner. Outlet red line right side to Don Tobin. Ahead to the Fort Wayne red line for Rudy. Pikasinski trying to work his way around a double team. Ball deflected by Muller up. Rudy able to pin him up against the boards, and Muller up has to clear on the right side. And coming up the floor with it is um, Klassen in the corner and knocked away, and Condrich sends it ahead for Magic. Magic, Dewars kind of tripped over him as he went by, and Magic ends up with the ball. Ahead for Art Kramer, a minute 10 to play in the period. Kramer back to the net, left side in the Fort Wayne end, now midfield to Mike Paxos, edge of the midfield circle to Celestin. The Magic Man, couple of steps in on Dewars. Kramer in the corner, wall pass, tried to get it in front to Rudy. Knocked away, Rudy chases it into the corner and tried to clear it in the middle of the floor, but there's nobody there except for Ron Basil. Basil clears ahead in the Canton in 47 seconds. Shot into the left side and Swanner controls there. Outlet to Randy Pikasinski, ahead to brother Rudy. Rudy back to Randy, wide open up the left side. He shoots wide, rebound, loose out front and bounce right back to Otto Orr. Lead midfield with it is Basil. Basil picked up by Rudy, 28 seconds. Lugris, right side of the Canton red line, dumps it in for Klassen. And now it's uh, Basil with it, picked up by Rudy. And the ball knocked away in a sliding tackle by Magic, but taken right back by O'Keefe. They dump it in the corner, and Condridge controls and taps it off the wall. Eight seconds, and Swanner with a long outlet. And it slides past everybody and goes into the goal area for uh, Fort Wayne. Bad pass. Rudy took it back and shot it on goal. But Orff got back and stepped in front of it. And that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders 2 and the Fort Wayne Flames nothing.
to our left, and it's Orff in the goal to our right. The Invaders touched him for a pair in the first quarter. The Pekasinski brothers up front with Magic Celestin at midfield. Schlotthauer and Paxos on defense. And for Fort Wayne, you've got Killingsworth, Lugris, Porcinitis, Alioto, and Muller up. Swanner outside his red line. Close to midfield. Sends it in the left corner for Rudy. Knocked away by Muller up. But Rudy got it back. Shot just hit the post. Rudy spun to take that ball and just whipped it right away. Orff was beaten on the play. But it was just a tad wide to the right side. Celestin has it at midfield for Canton. Now back at the invader red line to Paxos. One touch left side to Schlotthauer. Walter directing traffic and clears it back in the goal box for Swanner. And Jamie will come out with it. 14.07 to play in the first half. Invaders two, Fort Wayne nothing. Swanner long lead into the right corner for Rudy. Rudy had it knocked out of play by Muller up and the Invaders will put it in. Touchline right side. We played a minute one of the second quarter. First half, Chicago leads Milwaukee 1-0, we are told. Shockers a half game up in the Northern Division right now. Randy Pikasinski, red line left side, now back at midfield, it comes to Schlotthauer. And Walter sends it off the right sideboards for Rudy. Rudy, back to the net against Muller, up, tried to spin inside, got it back, and Randy couldn't quite get to the ball, it squirted in the goal area. Orff, long lead, intercepted at midfield by Schlotthauer. Invaders will attack four on two. Rudy, and it's picked away. Rudy was trying to tap it across the box. Orff stepped in front and came up with the ball. Alioto, right side, sends it long for Killingsworth in a run with Mike Paxos. Paxos got there first. He and Kenny fight for it in the corner. They both go down. Forsenitis into double team. And the whistle and the foul goes against Mike Paxos. And that'll be the first foul on either team in the second period. Killingsworth to put it in play from the right corner, and Bodenstein knocked it in the cheap seats. Goal kick for the Invaders as Bodenstein got under it and sent it high about four or five rows deep into section nine. Behind the goal to the end that the Invaders are defending this period. Tomorrow night from Toledo, 7.25 airtime. We hope to have you with us. And the Invaders' next home game will be one week from tonight. Next home game, Friday, December 26th, day after Christmas when the Milwaukee Wave comes to town. Jamie Swanner out with a ball outside the red line. Wants Steve Maurer in the left corner, back to the net. Maurer coming outside with it, across the floor for Pisano. Pisano trying to get inside his man, but it's taken away and coming the other way is uh, Basil. Basil had it knocked away by Kondrich, and Basil will pick up the foul on the obstruction call, and we're even at one apiece as far as team fouls. Don Tobin outside the red line, now midfield circle to Pisano, to Kramer, got inside one, ball knocked away by Dewurst, but it, Maurer has it in the right corner. Maurer had it deflected, but able to clear it back on the point, but when Maurer cleared it back, he tripped the man, and that's the second foul on the Invaders. 12.34 to play in the first half. Canton 2 and Fort Wayne nothing. That was our score at the end of one period. We've had no scoring in the second quarter. Otto Orff, midfield, and the ball knocked away by Pisano, taken by Maurer, ahead to Kramer. Kramer right side, Oscar's wide open if he can get the feed to him, but he cannot, and it's knocked away. Maurer shot blocked. Pisano got it back, he shoots. Oh, what a save by Orff. Just able to stick that left foot out and get a piece of that and fortunately for Orff, instead of the rebound kicking out like it often does, the ball just landed right at his feet. Ball at midfield, knocked away by Maurer, Pisano to Maurer. Maurer left side, now Tobin, and back to Oscar Pisano. A few steps outside the Canton red line. Now at the Fort Wayne red line to Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside a man. They both lost the ball, already found it first. Spins into the corner, pass out front a little bit far for Tobin. And coming the other way is... Uh, Basil, Basil tried to set it ahead. The ball was too far for Klassen. And Swanner controls, outlet, red line, left side to Pisano. Pisano on the run through the midfield circle. Basil picks him up, back to Tobin. Ahead to Maurer, Maurer posted up in the arc. 
heels it to Tobin. Toby trying to move around a man and backs it over. Left side it comes to Steve Maurer. And now Tobin. Tobin in front of the arc. Back to Maurer. They cross. Maurer's shot. Hit one of the defenders up front. Maurer's follow. Hit the post on the right side. As Orff was late getting over there, Condrich knocks it away. Orff tries to clear. Condrich keeps it in on the point. Down on the right corner it comes to Kramer. Artie centering ball knocked free and coming the other way. Dewar sends a long ball ahead for Stallings. Stallings, right side, Canton red line, back it up to midfield as the invaders are back on D. Armuth has it, down in the corner for Stallings on the right side. Stallings picked up by Pisano, ball knocked away and taken by Oscar. Oscar, out to the Canton red line, sends it forward for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski in the Fort Wayne end, trying to move around, a man does, trying to get it to Randy, taken away by Alioto. Alioto comes the other way, sends it ahead, bad pass taken away by Pisano. Pisano, long lead for Rudy to Randy. It's too far for him and taken away by Orff. Outlet to uh, Alioto and back to Orff. And Fort Wayne, I don't think, wants to get caught in that kind of a running game too often tonight. Lenny Armuth, midfield circle. Lead ball ahead and the centering for O'Keefe. One through and it's loose out front. And Swanner able to pounce on the loose ball as he was kind of wrestling with Stallings in front of the goal, but he's able to come up with it. Magic Celestin, right side of the midfield circle, trying to get inside O'Keefe, and instead crosses it left side at midfield to Walt Schlothauer, ahead to Magic. Magic, right side in the Fort Wayne defensive zone, 9.52 in the half. Magic, loose out front, he shoots, he scores off never side. The Magic Man pulls one out of his hat. Otto Orff had no idea where that ball was going until he found it in the corner of the net. Time of the goal is 5-12 for Magic Celestin. It's his fourth goal of the year. About our 100 point we're going to announce now. And Schlotthauer will get the assist. And with that, Walt Schlotthauer becomes the first defender in AISA history to score 100 career points with that assist. He needed two coming in. He had the goal and the assist. And Walt Schlotthauer. 100 career points, the first defender in AISA history to come up with that, and they're going to give him the ball. Magic gives him the ball, and he gets a well-deserved round of applause, and in the midst of all that, Lola Nagley, you won the two tickets to a future Invader home game, a $20 certificate toward dinner for two at the Red Bull Inn, and you already won the United Bank coffee mug. Magic Celestin and Walt Schlotthauer give us another contest winner. And the Invaders lead three to nothing. There's Killingsworth with a shot, and Swanner made a good diving save to get his right hand on that. Magic out of a double team, clears to midfield. Noonan and Rudy in a race for that, but Orff, the goalkeeper, will get there first. Launches it airborne high into the Canton defensive end, and Schlothauer knocks it away from Killingsworth and into the seats. And Fort Wayne will control the touchline right side in the Canton defensive zone. The Invaders will change lines on the timeout. 9.25 to play in the first half. Canton leads three to nothing. Goals by Schlotthauer, Kramer, and Celestin. And Fort Wayne wants a break from things. We'll take a timeout. 9.25 to play in the first half. Canton three, and Fort Wayne nothing. And we'll have that for you. And then the Invaders go on the road on Monday, December 29th against Fort Wayne. And we'll have that one for you as well. 3-0 Invaders with 9.25 to play in the first half. And Fort Wayne's offensive problems continue to be in abundance as you see that big goose egg still on their side of the scoreboard. Muller up shot, knocked away by Pisano. Muller up flags it down at midfield and knocked it right to Steve Maurer. Maurer shoots, no, rebound, Kramer scores! That's the second time that combo's clicked. Kramer from Maurer. They worked it in the first quarter. And they do it again. Time of this goal will be 5.45. Only 32 seconds apart. Kramer and Maurer worked at 7.52 of the first period. They click at 5.45 of the second. And the Invaders lead 4-0. Fort Wayne tries to send it in. It hits Maurer in the back. They dump it out on the left point. And 
and Basil to Lugris, and he backs it up to midfield and is taken away by Tobin. Tobin waits. Muller up. He had position, and Pisano clears it back in the Canton defensive end to Jamie Swanner. Swanner outlet short on the right side to Pisano. 4 0 Canton. And the Invaders looking to salt this one away early if they could. Swanner, long lead into the Fort Wayne end for Maurer. Maurer back to the net. And trying to find some room. His pass hits the referee, taken away by Fort Wayne. And taken back by Pisano at midfield off of four feet from Klassen. Long lead for Randy in the left corner. Randy back to the net against Klassen. Back out front, Tobin, one touch to Maurer. Maurer, Randy shoots, kick save and a beauty by Orff. And he kicked it over the glass and out of play. Boy, the Invaders' passing looks as crisp, I think, maybe as it has all season right now. They are finding guys open, and the key is not, is not just finding guys open in front of the net. They are finding guys open and, and open and giving them balls that they can handle. Good passes. Easy passes to handle. That's, that's what's been uh, so impressive so far tonight. Corner kick from the left side for Canton. Magic Celestin will be the trigger man. Celestin to Schlotthauer. He dumps it on the right side. Rudy with the rebound to Randy in the corner on the right. And back out to midfield to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer forward for Magic, but it's knocked away by O'Keefe. And now here comes uh, Stallings. Stallings that behind O'Keefe out front. And Randy able to get position on Arma and take that away and clear it ahead to Rudy. Rudy up the right side. He may have Orff for lunch if he gets to the ball first, but Orff able to clear. Magic is wide open up the middle. They get it to him, and Bodenstein cleared. Back it comes to Randy Pikasinski and Mike Paxos right side at midfield, and now Walt Schlotthauer. Seven and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. The Invaders four, Fort Wayne nothing. Schlotthauer back in the Canton defensive end, and Swanner ahead. Magic shovels it over to Mike Paxos. Paxos winds, fires, no, rebound off the head of Randy in the corner. Rudy fights with Noonan for it in there, and they clear it out to Bodenstein. Bodenstein tripped over the ball, but able to get up and get it back, but he's run down from behind by Rudy, and a whistle and a foul on the play will give it back to Fort Wayne. That's the third foul on Canton, one on the Flames in this period. There's a shot. It was deflected a little, I think, and Swanner able to grab that rising ball on the fly and hold on. And Jamie sends it long, but it's too far for Randy in a three-line violation. We'll bring it back to the Canton red line with 6.52 to play in the first half. Canton four, Fort Wayne nothing. Bodenstein to put the ball in play for the Flames. And his pass is deflected by Randy off the chest of Maurer. And here come the Invaders four on three. Randy Pikasinski ahead for Paxos. Paxos, ball block, got it back through the crease. Magic has it in the right corner. And Celestin looking for some help. Magic, couple of steps in, finds Maurer, ball knocked free. Paxos with a shot, just tipped outside by Otto Orff. And Maurer has it in the left corner. Maurer, ball deflected, and coming away with it is Stallings for Fort Wayne. Picked up by Tobin, gets around Toby. He's with Schlotthauer, wall pass, kicked away by Swanner. And it's knocked out to the left side and flagging it down there for Chicago is Lenny Armuth. Ball deflected by Schlotthauer off the foot of Tobin ahead to Kramer. Kramer up the right side, around one, around two. Ball deflected off the heel of Bodenstein. And he controls for Chicago, or rather for Fort Wayne. I'm sorry. Bodenstein through the midfield circle. Right side to Dave Dewurst, Team Dewurst. Dewurst, long lead in the corner for Killingsworth. Killingsworth and Mike Paxos all down, and Paxi will get whistled for holding on that one. Fourth foul on Canton. Killingsworth to put it in play out front. Shot blocked by Kramer off the foot of Dewars, and it comes all the way back inside the Fort Wayne red line. Muller up chases it down there. Kramer watches him lead to midfield, and Fort Wayne on the attack again. Puskarich, right side to Killingsworth. His shot blocked by Paxos. And Dewurst has it back at the red line. Dewurst between a couple of guys. Tried to get it out front. Condridge, good defense to keep it away from Porcinitis. And Don Tobin spinning in the corner. Trying to get away from Porcinitis and Killingsworth. Out to Kramer. And Muller up gets whistled for the second foul on Fort Wayne. 
Five ten to play in the first half. Canton four, Fort Wayne nothing. Swanner with the ball in the penalty area for Canton. He'll pick it up. Looks upfield. Now Jamie will toss it back down on the floor and come out with it himself. Swanner across the red line. Long lead once Rudy. Dewar's got it inside and headed it into the goal area to Otto Orff. Orff puts the ball on the floor in the box. Sends it airborne to midfield. And nobody there but Condrich. Condrich trying to get around Killingsworth. And it's deflected. And coming up the floor with it is Muller up for Fort Wayne. Muller up over to Dewar's. Dewar's to the right side at the Canton red line. Ball deflected by Condrich, controlled by Muller up, blocked by Pikazinski. And Piscarich, bad ball knocked away by Condrich. Piscarich got it back. Condrich took it away again. Kramer off the boards, trying to get around Dewar's. Off his head, it hit the Invader bench, but it was a foul on Dewar's. And the Invaders will put it back in play. Team fouls now four on Canton and three on Fort Wayne. Tobin drops it back at the Invader red line to Pisano. Oscar trying to work around a couple of guys ahead to Randy. Randy down in the corner. Rudy gets there into the right side. Wants a feet out front. He's got Tobin. Tobin spins, goes down, and nice move to take it away from Killingsworth to Rudy. Back to Toby on the give and go, but it was knocked away by Killingsworth. And Orff controls with four minutes left in the half. Long lead ball off the left side boards. And controlling there for Fort Wayne. Now you've got... Uh, Bodenstein with the ball at midfield as they switch some people in and out on the line change. Into the corner for Basil. It's over his head. Randy Pikasinski clears around and he's pushed down by Klassen. And the team fouls are even at four apiece. 3.41 left in the first half. The Invaders have scored twice in each quarter. While giving up none, they lead 4 0. Kramer with two goals, Schlotthauer and Celestin with one apiece. Maurer has assisted on both of Kramer's goals. Schlotthauer has an assist for two points that gives him 100 career points. First defender in league history to reach that career milestone. 3.40 to play in the first half. Swanner sends it long. Randy for Rudy. Knocked away. Good defensive play out front by Noonan. Might have gotten away with a push, but uh, you got to do that in that situation. You know they're not going to call it. Klassen drops it ahead to Lugris. Lugris, Bodenstein, hounded by Randy. And Bodenstein with a move around one. Now it's Noonan, left side at midfield. Off the sideboards, Bodenstein in the corner. Pisano picks him up. Bodenstein, centering ball, shot blocked wide. Good play by Celestin to get a piece of the shot by Basil. And Pisano clears it ahead for Randy, unmarked up the right side. Randy looking for brother Rudy out front. He feeds Rudy, can't get the shot. Now he dumps it over to Celestin. Celestin confronted, ball knocked away, and chasing it down at midfield. Condridge trying to get inside Basil. Basil took the ball away on the run up the middle. Basil open, he shoots, hit the post. Rebound taken out by Pisano. 2.39 to play. In the first half, Lugris tries to keep it in the Fort Wayne end and does. And backs it up at midfield now for Noonan. Now Bodenstein on the left side. And it's knocked away by Pisano, taken by Randy. Here come the Pikasinski brothers, two on two. Celestin joins him to make him a three-on-two break. And the pass for Magic knocked away by Noonan. Basil coming the other way for Fort Wayne. Basil picked up by Randy. Drops it down in the corner to Lugris. Wall pass picked away by Swanner. 2.08 to play in the period. Jamie with a lead ball midfield for the Magic man. Celestin working on Killingsworth. Dumps it over on the left side to Kramer. Kramer trying to get inside Dewars. They both go down. The foul on Kramer. That's five on Canton. Artie did push. Dewars held first, and Campbell couldn't see it. In fairness, he was probably shielded from the play. And you've got a whistle, and the foul, I think, Swanner pushing, and that would be the sixth foul. Swanner was going after the loose ball out front and collided with Forsenitis. And they have called the foul on Swanner, so the invaders will go shorthanded. Time of the penalty, 13-10. Of the second period, the Invaders draw the six foul penalty. Fort Wayne would have the power play for the remainder of this period if they don't score. So we'll just give you the uh, time left in the period rather than worry about the penalty time because the penalty time is as long as the period is and 10 seconds more. Lugris to put the ball in play out front. Right side, there's a shot high off the glass. 
Frick tried to tip it away, but Alioto got it back to Killingsworth. Centering ball goes between two Fort Wayne players and is taken back out on the left point. Knocked away, and Lugris has it back at midfield. Basil had some trouble there, and Fort Wayne will kick it in as I think they said it went out of play on the Fort Wayne bench. Hit off and hit one of the players. Lugris drops it over to Alioto. Minute 33 to play in the first half. Fort Wayne with their first power play of the night. Lugris, red line on the right side it goes to Alioto. A couple of steps forward. Down in the corner for Killingsworth. Killingsworth and Condrich. Tima, ball knocked away, and Tomo clears to Steve Frick. Frick on the run with Lugris. Lugris gets there first, able to clear it back to Otto Orff, but he's not allowed to touch that. And the Invaders will put it in play from the spot in front of the arc. Kramer, the Invaders' shorthanded team, looking for a, their, what would be their third shorthanded tally of the year. Kramer, Condrich, he fires into the seats. Goal kick for Fort Wayne. Kramer, Condrich, Frick, and Tima. The man down team for Canton and the power play unit for Fort Wayne. O'Keefe, Alioto, Killingsworth, Basil, and Lugris. Lugris has it, left side of the midfield circle. One minute to play in the first half. Lugris shot, blocked out front, and Kramer has it for Canton, knocked away by Basil. That's the fifth foul on Fort Wayne. And Kramer wants to put it in play, and they say he was too far up the floor, so we'll do it again. 54 seconds to play in the first half. The Invaders lead four to nothing. Power play unit for Fort Wayne, five of 21, 24% on the year. The Invader penalty killers have given up eight goals in 25 shorthanded situations, 68% penalty killing. Tim Tima on the red line, he rides away from O'Keefe and Frick comes over to help out and steer the ball away. 39 seconds, Frick taken down by O'Keefe. That would have been the sixth foul, no call. Down in the corner, Killingsworth centering ball, O'Keefe. Tried the back heel shot and Swanner came up with a beauty. Long lead for Frick, headed away by Alioto, 25 seconds. Alioto into the Canton end, O'Keefe, he shoots, and there's another great save by Swanner, and a good play by Tima to kick it away. Here comes Frick, Frick's got Kramer clearing, 12 seconds in the period. Fricky out of the double team, knocked away, and you've got a holding call, and that's the Sixth foul on Fort Wayne, so kill the power play. And the Invaders will have a man advantage in the third quarter. Nine seconds left in the half, so the time of this penalty will be 14.51 as Fort Wayne commits the sixth foul. And they committed two of them while they were a man up. So there'll be 19 seconds of four on four, nine in this quarter in the first 10 seconds of the fourth, or rather of the third, and then the Invaders will have a minute 41 of power play. So Fort Wayne fails to convert on their man advantage. We have nine seconds to play in the first half, and the Invaders have a four to nothing lead. Tima to Frick. Frick wants Kramer, can't find him. Wall pass behind Kramer. Condridge fires wide. Two seconds, shot wide again, and they score, but the quarter was was the quarter over or not? Campbell signaled good. Let's see if they give him the goal or not. Fort Wayne says no. The Invaders say yes. Scoreboard says yes. And let's see what the official decision is. Fort Wayne says no. And I'm not sure whether they're going to give it to him or not. I thought the buzzer went off before Tomo took the shot, but I'm not absolutely sure that it was very close. And what's the decision? Scoreboard says five, but we don't have an official announcement of that. Tim Tima and Mark Lugris, the two captains, still here at the circle waiting for a decision. Now, the one referee and the goal judge, I think, are down there talking. Don't know. 
We'll come back and we'll wait for a ruling. It's either 4 nothing Canton or 5 nothing Canton. Up, oh, they gave it to him. Tim Tima says goal, it is 5 nothing. That goal would go to Condrich, and I'm going to wait until I make sure of the assist on that. Pretty sure to no assist and give the goal to Condrich. Okay. Condrich gets the goal unassisted, and the Invaders lead 5-0. Now that we got that sorted out, we will come back. We have two guests at halftime. AISA Commissioner Dr. Joe Macknick will be our first guest, and Invader forward Steve Moyers will be our second guest at halftime, but uh, let's take this time out and come back. offense has not been uh, the most fearsome animal in the world the last couple of games and they haven't shown much tonight two goals by Kramer one apiece for Schlotthauer, Celestin and Condridge for Canton and that's all the scoring there's nothing on the Fort Wayne side uh, of the stat sheet as far as goals scored. Invaders scored two in the first and three in the second. And they lead five to nothing. It'll be Piscarich, Killingsworth, Noonan, and Armuth on the floor for Fort Wayne. Now remember, we were four on four when the half ended. We will be four on four for 10 seconds, and then the Invaders will have a minute 41 of power play at the end of that. Penalty ran out on Fort Wayne was with 19 seconds left in the first half. So the Invaders will have their second man advantage situation coming up. They scored the first time. It'll be Kramer, Kia, Pisano, and Schlothauer to be followed shortly by Don Tobin. Fort Wayne with a kickoff. It's, the pass is too far for Killingsworth. Schlothauer controls, and the Invaders will control the ball. And Tobin steps out as the Canton penalty is over. And now the Invaders with a man advantage. For a minute five right now as Tobin crosses through the midfield circle. Tobin. Left side, Schlothauer winds, fires, and Warren Lipka is in the goal for Fort Wayne, and he makes the initial save of the second half. So they've pulled Otto Orff and Warren Lipka, who came in tonight 1-5 and five with a 3.82 goals against average, and he is minding the net for the Fort Wayne Flames. Don Tobin, right side at the Fort Wayne red line of Pisano, back to Tobin. And 32 seconds left in the penalty. Schlotthauer shot block. Rudy after the rebound. Got it back out to Walter. Now Tobin. It's a little behind him. And he's got to chase it back to midfield. Killingsworth will pick Toby up. And Toby right side to Oscar. Six seconds left in the... Uh, or check that. 21 seconds left in the penalty. Penalty clocks are out again. Tobin ahead or pass too far for Rudy. Lipka controls in goal for the Flames. Outlet to Kuskerich, former Columbus Capital player. Sends it ahead for Ken Killingsworth. And now back to Noonan. Noonan picked up by Kia. And it'll be a three-line violation just as the penalty time runs out. So as soon as a couple of 
another second ticks off. We should have uh, Basil coming out. Not yet. Now Pisano shot blocked and it goes up over the glass and out of play. And that was with nine seconds, so there are uh, seven more seconds left in the penalty. Key in the corner. Schlotthauer winds and fires off the glass. Four seconds. Headed in by Pisano and controlled by Lipka, and the penalty is over. Schlotthauer has it back at midfield. Ball taken away from behind by Basil, who had just stepped out of the penalty box. Left side to Killingsworth, back to Noonan. And now they drop it over to Puskaric. Puskaric, Rudy had, knocks it away from Aliotto. Puskaric clears it back in the goal area for Lipka. Lipka sends it long. Midfield, Basil controls off his chest, drops it back to Noonan, back to Basil. Basil double teamed by Tobin and Schlotthauer, clears back to Noonan. Tobin back hustling to pick him up. Muscaris dishes back in the goal area to Lipka. Outlet Noonan. Noonan in the midfield circle to Mark Lugris. Lugris forward for Casson, and it's knocked away, taken by Rudy ahead to Pisano. Pisano knocked down by Casson. And that will be the first foul on Fort Wayne, first team foul of the third period. Don Tobin dishes it back to Timmy Tima. Tima seeing his first regular shift action tonight. Tima had played uh, on the man down team. Swanner, long lead. Lipka knocks it back out to the red line. Kia sends it away. And the push foul will go against Kia as he uh, pushed off on Basil, who went down in a heap. It was a foul. I think Basil uh, was a bit more dramatic than perhaps he had to be. Alioto to put the ball in play for Fort Wayne. The Invaders lead five to nothing. And would appear to have this one comfortably in hand. There's another foul as Tima reaching around Basil. Commits the second one on Canton in the period. One has been whistled on the Flames. Alioto feeds, and Lugris knocked it into the stage. And the Invaders will have a goal kick with 11.57 to play in the third quarter. Tomorrow night, 7.25 airtime, 7.35 kickoff. On 1480 WHBC AM, our sister station will be on the air from the Toledo Sports Arena, where the Invaders meet the Toledo Pride. A few folks planning to go up there. Jamie Swanner in the goal area with the ball in hand. Now he'll put it on the floor and come out with it. Swanner out across the red line. Jamie dumps it forward for Steve Frick trying to get behind Armuth. Lenny Armuth forces Frick back outside. It's Kondrich on the left side. And down in the corner to Steve Moyers. Wall pass. Armuth stepped in front of Frick and steered it into Lipka. Lipka will put the ball on the floor again. Outlet short on the left side to Armuth. And his pass rejected by Frick. Frick tries to cut him inside in the corner, but Armand steers it back in the goal area. And Lipka launches it to midfield, taken away by Tima, who stepped inside of Killingsworth. Killingsworth slips and falls. Tima still with the ball. And Timmy trying to get it to Moyers, but he couldn't find the right hole through the defense. And Puskarich has it for Fort Wayne. Long lead for uh, Forsenitis. Forsenitis back to the net on Kondrich, and Tomo gets whistled for holding. And that's three fouls on the Invaders with 10.59 to play in the third quarter. One foul on Fort Wayne. Invaders lead comfortably five to nothing. It'll be a corner kick, Fort Wayne from the left side. Armuth to put it in play. Luger is shot blocked by Kondrich. Wall pass, no. And here comes Moyers. He may have a break if he can get around one. And he had to wait on the ball. Moyers picked up by Armuth. Across the floor on the left side for Frick. Fricky winds and fires. Lipka punches the save out front. And Fort Wayne with a rebound. Midfield with it is uh, Porcinitis. And now Lugris on the left side. Lugris clears up. Middle of the floor. He winds. He fires. Swatter with a save. Launches it out for Steve Frick. Frick left right side at midfield. Fricky trying to get around Lugris. Stops. Backs it away. Now pushes left side at midfield to Tim Tima. Tima for Tobin. Back to Tima. And Moyers had it knocked away there by Noonan. Tima trying to get inside of man, and Porcinitis spins away with the ball. 
Forsenitis, right side at the red line, now across the midfield stripe. Sends it ahead for Lugris. Lugris clearing up the left side. He feeds, shot, score by Porcinitis. He'll get the goal. Lugris will get the assist. And Fort Wayne on the scoreboard for the first time in the game. For Bob Porcinitis, his fourth goal of the season. For Mark Lugris, his seventh assist. Time of the goal, 4.56. And Fort Wayne is on the board in the third quarter, but they still trail 5-1. to one. Jamie Swanner, however, has lost the shutout. Mike Paxos in the Invader defensive end drops it back to Swanner. Swanner out across the red line. Long lead for Pikasinski. Rudy in the corner. Alioto bounces it out. And Alioto clears up the right side. Magic stepped in front. He tried to clear it ahead to Kasson, and Mike Paxos trying to get around a man, does Kasson with a double-team deflection inside, and a centering ball knocked away by Paxos as Basil tried to center, and Paxos deflected. Noonan clears it into Klassen. Klassen off the wall. Basil shot, saved with his face by Swanner. Rebound knocked out into the corner, and Magic crawls out of there, around one, around two, knocks it between the legs of Alioto. Magic clears up the left side. And has to wait on the ball as Klassen had position against the boards. Pisano's unmarked up the right side. He takes it in the corner. He shoots. Rudy scores! <laughs> Rudy Pikasinski reached out, just got the right foot on the ball, tapped it past Lipka. And Pisano will get the assist. But Pikasinski is 17th goal of the year. And for Oscar Pisano, it's his second assist of the night. And his eighth on the season. The Invaders lead 6-1. Time of the goal will be 6-57. And the Invaders lead 6-1. Fort Wayne on the attack. Paxos clears it out. Kept in at the red line by Lugris. And in the middle of the floor with it is Porcinitis. And a good defensive play by Paxos, who had posted up with Killingsworth out front. And Kenny had nothing to do but knock that one into the stage. Killingsworth just had no leverage at all to get around on that ball. 8.43 to play in the third quarter. Canton 6, Fort Wayne 1. Jamie Swanner with the ball in the goal area for the Invaders, and he'll come out with it. Picked up by Killingsworth, clears it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy touches it back to Pisano. Oscar, midfield line right side, ahead to Kia. Kia drops it back to the Magic Man, Celestin in the midfield circle. Back and away from Lugris, heels it over to Pisano at the Invader red line. Ahead to Celestin. Former teammates Celestin and Lugris dueling out there. Now Kia, now back to Paxos. Paxos chases it back in the Invader defensive zone. Touches it across the goal area to Swanner. Ahead to Pisano. Across the floor for Paxos. Heads it off around the boards. And it's taken away there by Porcinitis. And here comes Armuth. Armuth, long lead. Headed away by Pisano. And coming the other way is Kia. Kia up the left side. Around one, around two. He shoots. Blocked by Porcinitis. I don't think uh, Porcinitis saw that. But it kind of hit him in the back of the heel. And he'll dump it in the goal area to Lipka. Lipka scoops it up. Outlet to Killingsworth at the red line. Killingsworth with three invaders around him. And Paxos knocks it away. And dumps it back in to Paxos. Now Pisano. Now Paxos. And now Swanner. Swanner outside the red line. 7.20 in the period. Jamie long lead for Frick who heads it up in the air and out of play. That'll be a goal kick. If That was very nearly a nifty pass from Swanner. Fricky hits that at the right angle. Lipka would have had a hard time with it. 7-16 to play in the third quarter. Canton 6, Fort Wayne 1. Invaders next home game a week from tonight. 8.05 kickoff time. Friday, December 26th, the day after Christmas, the Milwaukee Wave comes to town. Long lead by Lipka. And Tima steers that back in the goal area for Swanner. Outlet short on the left side to Tobin. Across the floor for Kondrich. Kondrich lets Klassen clear, and Tomo on the run up the right side. Tomo 
Stops at the red line. Now starts again. Wall pass loose out front. Knocked away by Dewars. And it's Basil on the run with it there. Condridge picks him up. And now Moyers to double team. Bounced off the boards. Alioto trying to get outside. Picked up by Moyers. He fights inside to where Noonan has the ball. But Noonan able to clear it out to Basil. And Basil back to Noonan. Noonan inside the Fort Wayne red line. Left side to Basil. High pressure D from Tobin and Moyers. And it's Klassen, left side at midfield in the circle that goes to Alioto. Touches it over on the right side to Basil. Basil back to Alioto at midfield, 622. Alioto, long lead for Dewarst in the corner. Frick got inside. Dewarst got the shot off. And that's about all he got off as it goes high over the glass and out of play. Into the stage. Goal kick invaders with 617 to play in the third period. Airtime, 7.25 tomorrow night on 1480 WHBC. 7.35 kickoff as we go to Toledo. The Glass City in the Toledo Sports Arena as the Invaders go on the road against the Toledo Pride, a team they handled 7-3 earlier in the year here. Costa Bohr is no longer the coach. Les Scarelli, at least for the time being, handling the coaching chores there. Long lead, swan. oh my, Lipka just did keep his feet inside the line of the box. Outlet intercepted by Tima, and Tima trying to get inside a couple of guys is sent sprawling. The ball goes in on net, Lipka grabs it and holds on. Outlet ahead on the right side to Alioto. Alioto, the player coach, and the way these guys are playing, he'll have a few more gray hairs than he did at the start of the season. Lugris. Midfield and Basil with the ball there. Double teamed by Moyers and Kondrich. Kondrich ahead to Moyers to Frick on the break. Frick shoots. Good play by Lipka. Lipka trying to clear. Can't do it. Frick's got two guys in front. Moyers shoots. Lipka with a hoodie of a save to tip that one over. Oh, and look at Moyers holding his head in both hands. He got off a decent shot. Lipka was out of position and somehow able to stretch that one arm up and get a piece of that. Oh, my. Corner kick for Canton from the right side. It will be Don Tobin to put it in play. 5.20 to go in the third quarter, and the Invaders lead 6-1. Fricky clears through the box. The Invaders shuffling a lot of folks in and out and some different line combinations this half. Tobin looks inside. Fricky backs up. He wanted Moyers. The ball was knocked away by Armuth. Condrich controls on the point. Knocks it inside a Lugris, but Alioto is there. Or check that, it's Porcinitis. Porcinitis up, he shoots, and Swanner comes up with a good one to knock that one into the corner. Out after the rebound, Porcinitis got it back. Armuth over to Lugris, Lugris left point. Condridge picks him up in the corner for Killingsworth, and Tima stepped inside and got position on that. They fight for it in the corner. Here comes Tim Tima out across the box with it. Tima on the run as they attack three on three. Timmy's pass for Toby just a little bit short. And Lugris stepped in front of it across their goal box. And with it is uh, Armuth. Armuth ahead to Killingsworth. Kenny on the run. Midfield. Ball knocked away by Condrich. And Kenny took a spin and looked over and just kind of grinned at Tomo like, well, I guess he didn't call it, did he? <laughs> Here comes Pisano open up the middle. He's got an open magic right side. Celestin with a move. Shot deflected. Killingsworth clears it back to... Uh, Puskarich, Puskarich hounded by Kia from behind, and they get the outlet to Lugris on the right side. 4-10 to play in the third quarter. Midfield with it is Porcinitis. Porcinitis and Mike Paxos fight for it there, and Porcinitis will drop it back in the box, and Lipka, with Celestin on him, sends it long, and Basil was able to prevent it from being a three-line violation, but in doing so, he knocked the ball out of play. So Canton will put it in play at their red line. 3.55 to play in the first half, in the, uh, what am I saying, third quarter. Seems like it's about the 10th quarter if you're Fort Wayne, the way this night has gone so far. Long lead. It's uh, Alioto in the corner. Rudy knocks it away from him. Mike Paxos has it at midfield. Drop it back in the invader end to Jamie Swanner. Swanner to Pisano. Red line on the right side. 2078, the attendance at the Civic Center tonight. We want to see more of you here than that. You don't know what to get somebody for a Christmas present. The invaders are here on the 26th. How about some tickets? Centering pass for Rudy off the foot of Celestin. Knocked back. 
Magic clears it back out on the point to Pisano. Oscar, double team, moves right between the two of them and draws the foul. Randy, Rudy Pikasinski to Kia. He's open. He shoots. And there's Lipka to come up and drag that one away. Rebound knocked all the way out to midfield. Klassen with it there. Klassen picked up by the Magic Man. And Kia with a deflection from behind. Klassen got it back. Rudy got it knocked out. It's Noonan with it. Now Alioto tries to knock it across the floor. Dewar's there. Wall pass knocked away by Magic. And Pisano has it in the corner and clears it through the box. Magic knocks it away from Alioto. And here comes Mike Paxos. Paxos up the right side of the floor. He moves around one. Ball knocked away from behind by Alioto. And Basil and Mike fight for it. There's a whistle. There's a foul. That one goes on Mike Paxos. And the team fouls now stand at four and two. Paxos with a deflection off the play by Porcinitis. Coming the other way is Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy feeds Kia back to Rudy on the give and go a little bit ahead of him and Noonan clears it down the midfield coming up the right side is Porcinitis for Fort Wayne 208 to play in the third quarter Puskarich right side centering ball Porcinitis trying to get a shot Condridge with excellent defensive position and they dump it out to Lugris weak shot Condridge clears Moyer knocks it away dragged down by Armuth and that will be the third foul on Fort Wayne if Moyers had gotten around Armuth, Warren Lipka would have had his work cut out for it. 153 to play in the third quarter, and the Invaders will put it in play at midfield. Canton comfortably on top, 6-1. To this one was over at halftime. Actually, before that, Swanner, long lead. Frick couldn't get it. It comes out behind Moyers. And Moyers fights for it with Piscarich. He dishes back to Marco Lugris. Lugris back in the goal box it comes. And Lipka had it knocked away by Frick, but Fricky unfortunately had it sail over the glass and out of play. And it wasn't that far over. That was a foot and a half from staying in play. And Fricky would have had some time to do some work in there. Minute 31 to play in the third quarter. Canton 6 and Fort Wayne 1. Shockers will, or Fort Wayne will put the ball in play. They do look like Chicago. They don't play like Chicago. I don't know why I've gotten them mixed up a time or two tonight. And praise the Lord, they don't look like Chicago did two years ago. It's had to be the ugliest uniforms in the history of sports. Bad pass taken away by Tobin to Moyers. Moyers spit and move to the left side, trying to get inside of Alioto. Alioto knocked it away. And Alioto had it deflected by Condrich, and Alioto pushed off. And now the team fouls are even at four apiece. Tobin ahead to Moyers. Brick is open if he could get the pass to him, but it was deflected out of play by Noonan. Moyers had the right idea, but the defender was not in the mood to be cooperative. A minute 16 left in the third quarter. 94 FM, WHBC FM, Canton, Ohio. Tobin, long lead. Nobody watching. Brick, he hit the post with a shot. O'Keefe tips the rebound off, and Dewar sends it long. It's too far for uh, the uh, Fort Wayne player, which was Stallings, and Swanner controls in the goal box and rolls the short outlet straight ahead to Don Tobin. Quickly for Moyers. Moyers lets it clear. Lipka tried to send it out and does, and Stallings tried to get inside Tobin. And I think they said Toby held, but that's the fifth foul. 50 seconds in the period. Dewarst out front. Post knocked away. Centering ball hit Tima in the rump. Condrich tries to clear to midfield, does. Frick and Noonan fight for it there. Fricky dumps it back into Fort Wayne in. Noonan heads it into Lipka. Outlet to Alioto. Just did get around Kia. 29 seconds. And the ball knocked away by Condrich. Here come the invaders on the attack. Three on two. Kia to Condrich. Condrich to an open Frick. The ball was deflected. And Fricky had it knocked away. Alioto got away with a push there. 15 seconds. Stallings with it at midfield. 12 seconds in the quarter. Stallings across the Canton red line. Picked up by Tima. Leaves it for Puskarich. His wall pass, no. Kia controls the rebound. Four seconds. Three, two, 
one. That's the end of the third quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders six and the Fort Wayne Flames one. You can keep in touch with the Invaders at home and on the road on 1480 WHB. Soccer, not basketball. End of three quarters, Chicago and Milwaukee close. Chicago two, Milwaukee one. So Louisville gets a struggle from Toledo, 6-5. That was in Louisville. The Invaders will meet that same Toledo pride tomorrow night. Chicago and Milwaukee having a tussle up in the Brewtown. 2-1 Shockers after three. Milwaukee's been known to give people trouble in the fourth quarter at home. We will see what happens. Invaders lead 6-1 here. It'll be Randy Pikasinski, Art Kramer, Kia, Walt Schlothauer, and Tim Teamer for Canton with Swanner in goal. Lugris, Klassen, Basil, Alioto, and Noonan for Fort Wayne. Kia with a kickoff for Canton. Moves forward close to the red line. Now backs it up to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer ahead for Randy. Randy back to Tima, and Tima just lets it go for Swanner. Swanner will come out of the box with it. Jamie out across the red line and sends a pass that kind of woke Kramer up outside the red line. Artie wasn't looking for it. And I don't think that's where Jamie wanted it. I think he wanted Randy up the left side, and the ball was low and hit Kramer. Klassen has it. The Canton red line for Fort Wayne. Now Lugris on the point. Back it up to Noonan out front. Tima fights with uh, Basil there. Leaves it for Lugris. Taps it in. Nobody there. Tima sends sprawling, but the ball squirts into Swanner's waiting hands. Outlet red line right side to Kia, right back to Tima. Tima backing a few people away and sends it up the floor. He wanted Randy. The ball was short, and Randy got around Alioto anyway. But Alioto able to clear it, but Kramer is waiting there at midfield. Back to Tima, and now Swanner. Swanner in the arc with it. Left side to Schlotthauer, back to Jamie. And Swanner will come out across the red line. He's been out a lot tonight, starting the plays. Ahead to Tima. Back to Swanner at the red line. Jamie, long lead for Randy. Randy tries to head it into Kramer, but Lugris dumps it in the goal area, and Lipka holds on there. 13-16 left in the game. Long lead for an open noon, and his shot wide rebound behind the Fort Wayne player, Basil. And Tima controls for Canton ahead to Kramer at the red line. Artie will back away from a double team. And now come back out with it. Ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy dishes back to Tima. Killingsworth in pursuit. Timmy through the goal box. Swanner has to chase it in the corner. Around Alioto, but they get it ahead off the foot of Kramer to Randy. Randy Pikasinski through the midfield circle. Randy pushes it up the right side for Kramer. Hardy winds, fires, loose out front. Rebound, Randy, and a save by Lipka. Randy didn't get everything on the shot that I don't think he would have liked to. It was kind of an awkward spot for him to attack the ball. Dewars, midfield circle, ahead to Killingsworth. Killingsworth drops back to Piscarich. And now it is Lenny Armuth off the bench for Fort Wayne. 12.21 to go. They get it to Killingsworth in the right corner. Back to the net against Kramer. There's Armuth with a shot wide to the left. Piscarich with a follow up over the glass out of play. Goal kick for the Invaders with 12.13 left to play. And Canton hanging on to a five goal cushion, six to one. Swanner would like to leave it at that, or at least no more on the other side, just for nothing else, get that goals against average down a little. It's a lot higher than it should be. It's a lot higher than it will be later in the year. I'll show you that. Jamie to Mike Paxos and back to Swanner. The thing the invaders want to watch, there are a lot of guys out there now that are quality players, but they aren't used to each other, and you can't have defensive breakdowns there. 
And let's face it, there's no need for them to have their lines, which they really haven't kept together since the second quarter. They've just been kind of messing around. Oh, there's a big pile up in the box. Moyers, Piscarich, and the keeper, Lipka, all went down in a heap. And I think the foul ends up being called on Canton. And it is the first team foul. That looked like Larry Moe and Curly Joe falling out of a rowboat in front of the net over there. Killingsworth midfield drops it back. It's Armuth at the red line, and they'll send it back in the goal area to Lipka. Lipka sends it out around Frick. It's loose at midfield, and Tobin wins that ball as Armuth was a little tentative attacking that. Now Armuth gets it back. Puskarich in the box. Moyers took it away and got the shot. It was high. And Armuth sitting there going, where did he come from? Maurer trying to get inside. He collides with Durst. And there's a whistle. And the foul against the Invaders. It's their second. None on the flame so far. Killingsworth midfield across the red line. Picked up by Maurer. Inside one. Tobin with a deflection from behind. Loose shot wide off the foot of uh, Alioto. And Moyers will clear. Midfield for Frick knocked away there. Collision taken back by Moyers. Moyers trying to get around Dewars. Does. He shoots wide. Rebound comes out. Frick lets it go into the stage. That sends some people ducking in the back row of the bleachers, but it'll be a goal kick for the Fort Wayne Flames with 10.54 left in the game. Again, you're looking for a Christmas present. Take somebody to the Invader game on the 26th, the day after. Tickets available. Like to see a good crowd when Milwaukee comes to the Civic Center. 8.05 kickoff. I believe that's correct. Yeah. We'll have that for you here as well. Tickets on sale at any Ticketmaster location. The Invaders ticket office here at the Civic Center. Fight at midfield. Boyers knocked it away from uh, Basil. It clears loose in the corner and Tobin controls there. In the box to Mike Paxos. Paxi playing well in that new position of defender. Good to see Mike getting some time. Long lead. That'll be a three-line violation. And I think Toby uh, thought he was over the red line and he wasn't when he let the pass go. Lugris drops it over to Basil. Basil inside. Moyers knocked, knocked it away. It's back to Muller up. Midfield ahead to Lugris. Lugris in. Mike Paxos shot. Centering ball. No! It hit Steve Maurer and went in. I believe Klassen will get that goal, but let's see. It hit Steve Maurer and went in. That's two goals for Fort Wayne. Time of the goal in any event will be 443. I'll tell you that much. And we'll see who they decide to give credit to this for. Pretty sure that it will go to Chris Klassen. Oh, that's Gordy. Okay, they changed his number on us. Gordy was supposed to be wearing 17. They changed it. Give the goal to Gordy, the assist to Lugris. And Fort Wayne's on the board to make it 6-2, and that's as cheap an assist as Lugris will ever get in his life. Kia can't get the lead into the uh, Fort Wayne defensive, and Dewars tries to clear. And they dump it in the middle of the floor, and that is uh, Piscarich ahead to Dewars. Ahead to Killingsworth, shot and a good save by Swanner with a left hand. And Jamie scoops up the loose ball as bodies go flying in the corner, outlet to Tima. 9.35 left in the game. Tima trying to get it ahead to Kramer, and the ball was deflected. And Armuth able to clear midfield. Dewars dumps it back, and Kia will say thank you. I'll take that. But it's knocked away by Dewars. Killingsworth controls. Killingsworth and Kia, former line mates, battle for a second, and now they clear to Piscarich. Right side to uh, Dewars. Dewars, former Milwaukee Wave player, pass in the box. Kramer steps in front of that, and Schlotthauer clears it back to Swanner. Outlet for Randy Pikasinski. It's long. Randy and Armuth in a race in the corner. And Armuth wins that and clears it in the box for Lipka. Outlet to Forsenitis. Left side at midfield. Forsenitis under the watchful eye of Artie Kramer. Drops it back. And uh, they'll drop it over on the right side at their own red line to Noonan. Now it is uh, Bodenstein. Back to Noonan. Ball knocked into the corner by Kia. And cleared away by Schlotthauer. And a push goes against who? against the invaders that's the fourth team foul none on Ford Wayne in the period and uh, Bodenstein will be your trigger man from the left side 
That's the third foul, I'm sorry. Third foul on Canton. Bodenstein outside. Muller up. Knocked it off the side of his foot into the corner. Centering. Oh, and a good save by Swanner off the shot by Stallings. Jamie pinned it up against the post and held on to keep it out. Schlotthauer ahead to Kramer. Back to Walter in the arc. And now ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy being pounded by Muller up there. And a sliding play by Bodenstein and the double team to take it away. Bodenstein, Muller up on the right side. And they have to back it up as Kramer and Tima get back on D for Canton. Muller up, red line on the left side of the corner. This is Dan O'Keefe. Dumps it out front for Noonan. Noonan winds, fires over the glass and out of play. Goal kick invaders with exactly eight minutes left in what will be their eighth win of the year. Six to two, Canton with the lead. Two goals by Kramer and single goals by Rudy Pikasinski, Tom Kondrich, Magic Celestin, and Walt Schlotthauer. Timeout on the field. And we'll keep it here with eight minutes to play. Swanner will put the ball in play for Canton. Mike Paxo, Steve Maurer, Don Tobin, Steve Frick, Steve Moyers on the floor for the Invaders. Ron Basil, Manny Gordy, Mark Lugris, Mark Noonan, and Tommy Muller up on the floor for Fort Wayne. Swanner out in front of the arc, 7.40 to play. Jamie takes it outside the red line, sends it long into the left corner for Steve Moyers. Moyers back to the net against Noonan. Crosses with Maurer and now dumps it back out to midfield to Mike Paxos. Knocked away by Gordy, but cleared out by Swanner. Maurer off the boards to himself. He shoots and scores! It hit the post. It hit Lipka in the back and went back in the net. The Invaders lead 7-2 on Steve Maurer's goal. Maurer, his eighth goal of the season. He has two assists tonight to go with it. And let's see if they give an assist on that. They might give one to Moyers. Maybe Paxos, we'll see. Time of the goal, 7.41. He gives Swanner an assist. So the goalkeeper, Swanner, picks up an assist. And up the other end, Forsenitis knocks it up over the glass and out of play. And we'll go back and do it again. The Invaders will put it in play on the goal kick. That happens sometimes. Lipka had gone over to make the save. The shot was wide. It hit the wall, came off the wall, hit Lipka in the back and went in the net. Fort Wayne at midfield. Eddie Puskarich. Shovels it ahead to Dewars. Dean Dewars spins around Frick. Pass for Puskarich. Dumped it over. And Swanner over to knock it out of the net. Had a couple of guys roll right over him. One of them was one of his own players. And the ball controlled by Steve Maurer. Maurer dumps it out to midfield. And nobody there. Coming the other way is Lenny Armuth for Fort Wayne. Through the midfield circle. Right side of the red line to Dewars. Kia knocked it away. Tobin knocked it away. Dewars. Kind of rode Tobin on his back, but he's able to get it to Frick. Back to Toby, now Maurer at midfield. Tobin, midfield circle, drops it back at the Canton red line to Paxos. And here is Maurer, now Swanner. Swanner, outlet right side, Maurer, now Paxos. Paxos trying to clear ahead, midfield, picked up by Dewurst. And back it comes to Swanner. 6.04 left in the game. 7-2 Canton. Swanner. Out across the red line. Let some traffic clear. Ahead in the left corner for Frick. Fricky back to the net on Armuth. Armuth tries to center. And Moyer lost it. Tobin shoots just wide as Lipka was out of position. And he just missed it wide to the left. Moyer nearly got his legs taken off out in front. Coming the other way is Porcinitis. They'll dish it back to Eddie Puskarich. Puskarich fires. Shot blocked by Tobin. Leaves it for Mike Paxos. Paxos. Right side, ahead, midfield to Randy Pikasinski. Randy drops it back to Steve Maurer. And the left side, it comes to Kramer. Artie 
leads it down into the Fort Wayne end. Lipker controls there. Line change for both teams. Stallings at midfield for Fort Wayne. Picked up by Kramer. Now Kia takes it into the boards. The double team. Wall pass. No. Out front. Killingsworth with a shot. And Swanner with an acrobatic save to pin that between his leg and his left arm. Outlet. Right side to Kia. Kia trying to get around Muller up. On the run, Kia and Muller up, fight into the boards. Kia dishes back to Kramer. Now in the corner for Randy. Randy out front, he's taken down. And a whistle as uh, Kia collided with uh, one of the Fort Wayne players. I think it was uh, Muller up out front. First foul on Fort Wayne. The Invaders will kick it in from the right corner. 4.52 left in the game. Canton seven, Fort Wayne two. Schlotthauer fires, Lipka with a save. Couldn't control the rebound. O'Keefe dumps it out to midfield. Schlotthauer and Stallings in a race. Walter wins that one up against the boards and pops it back to uh, Swanner. Now Tima, now Swanner. And Swanner outlet on the left side to Schlotthauer. 4.34 to play. Walter dumps it over on the right side to Tim Tima. Now Walter. Schlotthauer ahead to Art Kramer. Kramer. Midfield on the right side. Back at the Canton Red Line. Center of the floor to Schlotthauer. Long lead into the left corner. Randy. Comes back out to the red line for it. Now midfield to Kramer. 4.14 left. Schlotthauer back to Jamie Swanner. Swanner will come out across the red line with it on the right side of the floor. Jamie sends it airborne for Kia in the Fort Wayne end. Kia back to the net in the corner trying to get inside a man. And spins between a couple. Loose out front. Leaves it for Tima. Tima on the right point. Down in the corner for Kramer. Wall pass for Randy. Randy has to come back out front with it to Schlotthauer. Walter at midfield. Had the ball knocked away by Stallings. Swanner and Stallings in a race. And Jamie clears to midfield. Bodenstein got it. And he trips uh, Schlotthauer on the play. And that's the second foul on Fort Wayne. With 3.38 left in the game, the Invaders will win their eighth of the year. Fort Wayne will fall to 4-9. and nine. And Kramer will put it in play for Canton. Ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy working against Muller up. And back it comes to Tim Tima. Tima ahead for Kramer and back to Tima. And now Randy on the run up the right side of the floor. Randy got inside his man Muller up. Taken down by Muller up. And that's the third foul. Kramer to put it in play to Randy. Ball blocked and controlled by Lipka. 3.20 left. Lipka long outlet and not taken away at midfield by Schlotthauer. Lipka just threw that one away. Ahead to Tima. Tima, ball deflected from behind by Gordy. Maurer, the offensive player of the game. Swanner, the defensive player of the game. Kia drops it back to uh, Mike Paxos. And now Kramer, right side at midfield. 2.58 left in the game. Steve Maurer with the ball in the Canton defensive zone. Through the goal box for Swanner. Jamie steps out over the right corner of the box across the red line. Long lead between a couple, one at Frick, and Moyer whiffed on the shot, got it back, hits uh, Lipka in the hand, bounces up, and he's able to hang on to it. Now it's Gordy at midfield, dumps it over, long ball into the corner by Noonan, off the chest of Maurer, and he shovels it over to Mike Paxos. 2.26 left in the game. Mike Paxos in the box for Swanner. Swanner picks it up, takes it away from Basil, ahead it comes to Mike Paxos. 2.15 to play. Paxos with a shot blocked by uh, Puskarich out front. Paxos gets the rebound back. And Paxi to Moyers. Wanted to get it back to Paxos. Knocked away by Gordy. Taken by Lugris. And now it's Gordy again. And back to Puskarich. Puskarich pushes it up the right side for Alioto. 1.56 left. Puskarich outside his red line. Lugris had to wait on that pass at midfield. And Frick will get whistled for the trip. That's the fourth foul on the Invaders. Canton 7, Fort Wayne 2. Gordy heads it up in the air in the corner for Basil. Basil and Maurer fight for it, and the fifth foul against Canton is whistled against Steve Maurer. Alioto will put it in play with a minute 46 to go. Through the box, Swanner kicked that one up over the glass and out of play, and they'll do it again. Again from the right corner. Minute 44 left to play. And as soon as we get the soccer ball back, we'll be ready to start play again. Uh, 
That'll be Luger, it's the trigger man for Fort Wayne. Lugris to Killingsworth. He shoots. He scores. So Ken Killingsworth gets the third goal of the night for Fort Wayne. Lugris will get his third assist of the night. The time of the goal, 13-19. Ken Killingsworth has five goals and two assists on the season now, seven points. And it's 7-3 to three in favor of the Invaders. They send it into the Fort Wayne end. It's knocked back out, but Tobin has it at midfield. Minute 33 left in the game. Mike Paxos in the box for Swanner. Swanner, long lead for Steve Frick. Frick, out of a double team, finds uh, Tobin on the right side at midfield, ahead to Moyers. Steve Moyers. Working at the red line, back it up in the Canton end to Swanner, outlet to Maurer. Minute 12 to play, Maurer across the red line, winds, fires, Lipka didn't get much of that. And the rebound out to Steve Frick, minute five left. Frick around the arc, round one, around two, he shoots, it's blocked by Noonan, rebound, hit the post, Lipka didn't get that one either. And they've been missing a few, and Lipka has been getting beat, and beat consistently in this half. He's very lucky he's only given up two. Tobin drops it back in the Canton end to Swanner. 45 seconds remaining in the game. Swanner ahead to Frick, but that's knocked away. And coming up the floor with it is Bodenstein for Fort Wayne. He shoots wide. Rebound comes out behind all the Fort Wayne attackers. And here comes Tobin on the attack for Canton. 30 seconds in the game. Tobin feeds right side. Paxos pass knocked away by Noonan. And coming the other way, Bodenstein shovels it ahead. This is Porcinitis across the red line left side. 18 seconds left in the game. Porcinitis wants Bodenstein, shot saves Swanner. Jamie will put the outlet. Jamie's gonna come up before himself. Jamie wants to take a shot. <laughs> he has it knocked away with seven seconds. Lipka coming back. I've seen him do that in practice a couple of times, but never in a game. 2-1, it's over, and we almost got the ball in the press box. Oh my. <laughs> Jamie Swanner wanted to become an offensive star for a minute there. I have seen him do that a couple of times in practice, and a good minute of time he'll put it on goal. But, oh my. So they trade goals in the second half, and the Invaders who had put it away early cruise to a 7-2 win. We'll be back to wrap this one up in 30 seconds. the second quarter, three unanswered goals for Canton. 5-12, Celestin from Schlotthauer to make it 3-0. With that assist, Schlotthauer got his 100th career point in the AISA, the first defender to do that in the league history. 5.45 of the period, just 33 seconds later, Maurer to Kramer for the second time tonight, it made it 4-0. And just as the buzzer went off at the end of the first half, officially the time of the goal would be 14.59. Tom Condrich unassisted to put the Invaders up five to nothing. Bob Porcinitis put uh, Fort Wayne on the board at 4.56 of the third quarter. 
Luger has got the assist. It was 5-1. Then Rudy Pekosinski from Pisano at 6.57 of the third to make it 6-1. That's the way that period ended. Manny Gordy from Lugris at 4.43 of the fourth to make it 6-2. Then Maurer from Swanner at 7.41 of the fourth made it 7-2. And Killingsworth wrapped up the scoring at 13-19. Lugris had all three assists for Fort Wayne. And it was 7-3, Kent. Shots on goal in the game, dead even at 28 apiece. And the saves for Swanner, he had 21. And Lipka ended up with 10. And Orff had six in the game. So the Invaders win it 7-3. And they will be in action tomorrow night against the Toledo Pride from the Toledo Sports Arena. Glad you could be with us. We'll see you then. That brings us to the end of another night of AISA Soccer. Yeah,